Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. After accidentally hitting a person with his car, a man is suing the state over a resulting DUI arrest that was later dropped. Um, and I hit him. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Luna Bleets. Still ahead on 7 at 7, Mesquite is now the fastest growing city in Nevada. Why snowbirds are flocking there after retirement. Plus, one local family fights to keep their son in school for an extra year, saying he needs it to graduate, but they claim CCSD is not helping his situation. We'll explain coming up. And local families separated by CPS were reunited this weekend thanks to one program. More on their heartwarming reunions. We have all the details plus more coming up in a few minutes. We begin with top stories sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A Las Vegas man is suing the state of Nevada and the trooper who arrested him last year on suspicion of committing a fatal DUI despite blowing a .000 on a breathalyzer test. Here's an audio clip of Miguel Parra's 911 call reporting the incident. Hey, I just, uh, there was a man that was laying down on the street. I was heading south on some, uh, Summerlin Parkway um, and I hit him. He was laying in the middle of the street. 25-year-old Para was arrested on May 5th, 2023, the day after he hit a woman with his car who died. Trooper Michael Kim arrested him on suspicion of driving under the influence of drugs, but five days later, the case was dropped. In his lawsuit, Para alleges his constitutional rights were violated, and one of his lawyers says, quote, it was a rush to judgment to make an arrest where one didn't need to be made. NHP declined to comment on this story. The parents of a high school student have filed a lawsuit seeking to have him classified as a junior instead of a senior so he can have another year of school. Review Journal reporter Noble Brigham explains. So the student's named Kenneth Goodwin Jr. and uh, he'll be 18 in uh, just a couple of weeks, July 1, and um, he's supposed to be a senior this fall, uh, at least with the Clark County School District's classification. But his parents want him to do an extra year of high school and they think that he needs it to get the credits that he needs to graduate and the uh, preparation that he needs to go to college. This school district told the family that Goodwin Jr. can take summer courses according to the lawsuit, but his father said that option still doesn't guarantee he will be able to graduate. In weather sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every bloomin' thing. Looking at another 111 degree, mostly sunny day ahead of us to kick off the week, then dropping down into the high 80s at night for the first couple nights this week, then back up to a high of 109 Tuesday, 110 Wednesday, and staying in the high 100s the rest of the week and through next weekend. The clouds may stick around through Wednesday, then you're looking at sunny skies and lows in the lower 80s starting Thursday night. In business news, Mesquite is the fastest growing city in Nevada and could more than double its population in less than 20 years. Review Journal business reporter Patrick Blinnerhassett explains why. A lot of this is the snowbird phenomenon. And so you have baby boomers who have places in two different climates to sort of maximize the ideal temperatures. Obviously, Mesquite has a golf course that has been around for a very long time. Uh, they have three casinos and the proximity that it offers as well. It's about an hour's drive from Las Vegas and an hour's drive from St. George, Utah. It's kind of gives retirees the best of, of every world. Sports brought to you by PT's Taverns. With over 65 locations, there's a PT's near you. Visit PTsTaverns.com. Make it two wins in a row for the Aces, who handed the Connecticut Sun just the second loss of their season on Friday. The final score, 85-74 to 74 Aces, who were led by Asia Wilson. Wilson racked up another double-double, her ninth on the season. The reigning finals MVP also extended her WNBA record with her 19th consecutive 20 point game and 14th to begin the season. In health news, June is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, and a new survey from Parade and the Cleveland Clinic shows many Americans are thinking about brain issues but need to act when they experience symptoms. 
36% of people under 50 and nearly one-fourth of individuals aged 50 to 64 say they have experienced memory or brain health issues but were too afraid to seek help. Results also show that while 57% of women are more concerned than men about developing Alzheimer's or dementia, they don't recognize that they are at greater risk. However, to keep their brain healthy, 68% of respondents say they exercise, 64% say they eat healthy, and 57% say they get the proper amount of sleep. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Oilers have dug themselves out of a 3-0 deficit in the Stanley Cup Final to force Game 7 against the Panthers. Edmonton are one and a half point underdogs at Station Casinos, while Florida is a slight favorite at minus 115 on the money line. The total is set at 5.5. Puck drop for tonight's contest at Amarant Bank Arena in Sunrise, Florida is set for 5 p.m. The Oilers took Game 6 5-1 on Friday to become the 10th team in NHL history to force a 7 game in a series after being down three games to nothing, according to the Associated Press. Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Raiders defensive end Max Crosby continues to give back to those who have played a role in his success. Last year, Crosby and his wife Rachel donated $1 million to the growth of the athletics program at their alma mater, Eastern Michigan University, where Crosby played football from 2015 to 2018. The Crosby family was in attendance to see the newly renovated field at Reinerson Stadium, which was unveiled on Friday and officially renamed Crosby Field. In your lifestyle news, over the weekend, the Peer Parent Advocate Program celebrated eight reunited families at Dave & Buster's. Offered by East Valley Family Services, the program's ultimate goal is reuniting families who have been separated by Child Protective Services. Advocates for the program are people who have struggled with CPS cases in the past and were able to reunite with their children. At the event, families were honored with a gift basket filled with family board games, dolls, and Nerf guns, as well as a plaque congratulating them on a successful reunification. Now for entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's with live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. The Life is Beautiful Festival is hitting pause this year, but no worries because a block party is still happening in its place. Life is Beautiful presents a beautiful block party is scheduled for September 27th and 28th on the Plaza property in downtown Las Vegas. Organizers say the event is not replacing the festival that's being reworked and that the two will eventually come together. Artists will perform on two stages with no overlapping sets. The shows run from 5 p.m. to 2 a.m. each night. Two-day passes start at $199 and are on sale Thursday. Thanks for watching 7 at 7 this morning. Want to stay up to date with breaking news as it happens? Just hit the subscribe button below to get live updates and reminders on your favorite streaming platform. We'll see you back here tonight for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.